Are you ready? He told me not to tell anyone. You can't be here. Excuse me. Now. Hello? 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 Baby, who's calling? I don't know. Let's go back to bed. So you're in Sharon's office, you're gonna upload the virus. Now that's gonna wipe out everything. We're talking coast to coast. You're not gonna talk to him, Leah. I know you want to, but it's too risky, you know that. You gotta promise me you're not gonna contact him. We're changing everything, remember? He's gonna be here when you get back. Now let's try it again, Sharon, go. Sharon Woods, administrative assistant. Wakes up at 6 a.m., is in the shower by 6.15. Perfect. Out the door at 7.25, arrives at work at 7.53 a.m. Starts working on the overnight batch report at 8.26, gets a cup of coffee while that runs. It takes exactly three minutes and 22 seconds for that to finish. It's oh. waiting for her on the printer when she heads back to her office. She heads for lunch at 12.02. And that's the only chance we're gonna get, Leah. You got 45 seconds. She stops into the restroom on her way out. And before she heads into the stall, she leaves her purse next to the sink. And that's when you take the card key. It's September 11th, 2001. We're following breaking news. All flights across the U.S. have been grounded. This after what NTSB officials are calling a mass security breach. Authorities are telling us someone hacked into air traffic control's computer mainframe and planted some sort of virus, shutting down all vital communication between the ground and the air. Very little information has been released at this time. What we do know, security officials are telling us there's no telling when planes will be allowed back in the air. We're expecting a statement from the White House shortly. Meanwhile, it's just a mess at our own Boston Logan International Airport. Let's head straight out to Brooke Anderson Live. Brooke, thousands of passengers are stranded. What's the overall feel out there?
Told me not to tell. 